Macon Bibb firefighters aren't allowed to wear stickers on their helmets. They represent one of their brothers who died in the line of duty because it go against the department's uniform policy. 41 NBC's Alexa Rodriguez found out where the stickers came from and how they're helping the families of fallen heroes. Ugly Signs on Riverside Drive makes the stickers. It's a way for the business owner to give back to those who protect us. But Lieutenant Randy Parker wasn't the person who inspired the idea. A Monroe County Sheriff's deputy who lost his life in September was the first person to have a custom sticker created. It's just another day at the office for employees at Ugly Signs in Macon. A lot more laid back, relaxed. Even the ones with four legs. <laughs> love their job. They're typical everyday employees just like everybody else. Click design print. That's the system Dustin Duggar uses to create his one-of-a-kind signs. We have been very blessed to be where we're at in business. If you look closely at the front door, you'll notice two unique stickers. We found an opportunity to do a fundraiser for these families. Monroe County Sheriff's Deputy Michael Norris died in September after he was shot while responding to a suicide call. We had some of the Monroe County deputies come to us wanting the memory of decals. Duggar gave the deputies free stickers and sold others to raise money for the Norris family. We donated 100% of the proceeds back to the family. No material cost, no labor cost, anything like that. The fundraiser was so successful, Duggar decided to do it again for Lieutenant Randy Parker, a Macon Bibb firefighter who lost his life during a house fire in February. The sticker is custom made. It includes the Macon Bibb Fire Department's badge and Lieutenant Parker's badge number. We raised a little over $3,000 for the Norris family. Uh, in this particular case, we're about $3,500 for the Parker family. Even though Macon Bibb firefighters were told they can't wear the stickers on their helmets because it's against uniform policy, Duggar will still give the stickers to any make and bid firefighter for free. I think that all of these people around need to open their eyes. The first responders that are all volunteer units, we cannot function on a daily basis without any of these men and women doing their job. Last week, a Macon Bibb firefighter posted on Facebook that they aren't allowed to put the stickers on their helmets. According to the fire department's policy, only firefighters' names, initials, and rank are allowed on their helmets. All other lettering, designs, or other paraphernalia are prohibited. Chief Marvin Riggins tells us he's aware of the issue and wants to find an immediate solution that will honor all fallen firefighters, but still complies with the policy.